Hi everyone, in this video I'd like to talk a little bit about Debian 12 and this Linux distribution is very important for me because even if it is in testing uh, it is uh, very useful if you want to have uh, a, a future Debian release. Uh, the problem uh, that uh, I had is uh, this one and uh, it's very bad. So I, I'm making this video uh, just to uh, tell about the fix I used and I think that other people will have a similar issue because uh, if you have uh, uh, NVIDIA drivers in Linux, the uh, next Debian stable, the Debian bookworm, uh, will have uh, uh, some changes that break uh, the Linux distribution, especially if you are uh, updating it. And I had this very bad error. Uh, it, uh, it says, cannot open uh, access to console, the root account is locked and uh, this is uh, very bad and um, you, you can't uh, fix this error from uh, this uh, boot system, booted system. You have to go back to a working kernel and I hope for you that you have a working kernel in the system. So during group, uh, grab a boot, you press ESC and then you select another kernel. And then you can uh, actually fix this issue uh, because the proprietary drivers uh, stopped to work in Debian 12 and uh, the fix is uh, quite easy if you can uh, uh, enter in a working environment so in uh, my case uh, I went to uh, the path to fix the repositories because uh, the system updated the old NVIDIA driver with a broken one and it uh, uh, wasn't able to um, update to the newer NVIDIA driver. So the fix you have to do is this. If you go to um, uh, sources.list, you have to update the um, repositories. So here we have non-free and you also have to add non-free firmware. This is very important to add a new uh, category in this repository. And then you can uh, proceed with the update. And then you can install again the, uh, the driver, so the uh, NVIDIA driver and uh, it wasn't it wasn't possible without uh, this uh, without uh, this uh, change and now you can install uh, the latest uh, nvidia driver which is uh, 5 to 5 and uh, yeah uh, it is uh, available uh, if you read the um, the changes of this uh, release if you go to firmware you you can read uh, about uh, this uh, change but uh, if you have a working system uh, especially if you are using debian stable as uh, uh, debian testing as uh, um, normal linux distribution like a rolling release you have to add this new component in the repository. And uh, you know, Debian is a quite boring uh, Linux distro, usually, uh, because uh, normally everything works fine without uh, many changes. But uh, in this situation, I had to uh, do something to, to make it work again. And uh, I, I recommend this Linux distro to anybody who wants uh, uh, a stable Linux distro. And uh, as you can see, um, 
we have a new release every two years about and uh, now the current Debian 12 uh, testing is in um, code freeze mode so uh, it will be imminent uh, a new release of this operating system so if you want to start from scratch to, to use this uh, Linux distro probably it, it makes sense to, to use Debian testing now uh, before the, the release because it's really imminent uh, a newer release and uh, another interesting thing about Debian is that uh, if you go to DistroWatch uh, and uh, if you consider the top 10 Linux distro you see that uh, MX Linux is based on Debian Linux Mint is, is based on Debian Pop OS is based on Ubuntu Debian and also Ubuntu is based on Debian so 5 of 10 uh, top Linux distros are based on Debian so if you uh, really care about uh, stability Debian is uh, a really interesting uh, choice for Linux distro and also if you use uh, other operating system like uh, Home Assistant, uh, Home Assistant OS or Proxmox uh, there are also other operating systems which uh, use Debian as base so if you want uh, something uh, uh, which is uh, very conservative uh, and without many surprises uh, uh, and you don't care much about uh, the latest uh, bleeding edge software Debian testing is uh, uh, really popular also uh, Kali Linux is based on Debian Linux so it's uh, almost uh, a standard for um, Linux distribution that's it I hope you found this video useful and uh, see you in another one bye